My background is in education. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Um, so you've been teaching people since you were a uh, one-year-old, two-year-old? Oh, you mean you took a course and you have some classes underneath your belt that are in education. We're going to these baby classes and there is one teacher who introduced herself by saying my background is in education. And she's an educator, blah, 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 has certifications. And I found that very interesting that someone could have a background in education. Because to me, what that means is you're a good teacher, right? Or is educator different than a teacher? What does that mean anyways? How do you educate people? Are you a coach? Do you go alongside of them? Or do you give lectures? It's funny because there's some of us who learn stuff for our job. And later on, we teach it because we're older, right? That's what many doctors do. We have to go through it as part of our training, be a teacher. In residency, after your first intern year, then you have to teach your other interns because you're a second, third, you're a senior resident, you know stuff, you gotta teach them. And we learn it as part of the job. We're not formally trained in education or teaching, right? Some of us are better than others because of natural talents or people study. But the gist of it is we know something and that's why we teach it. But having a background in education means you don't know something. You learn how to teach or you learn this in a classroom and thus you know how to teach it. I mean, this is not true of all educators, but this is a classic example, I would say. So basically, our teacher slash educator would read from the slide, which I hate because I could read just as fast. As, I mean, I could read faster than she could speak. I don't need to read, right? The second thing is she would be very adamant or firm about this or that. And you're like, life's not so perfect. We don't know things 100%, right? I mean, the previous person, they have to get a spiel about pushing the flu vaccine for pregnant ladies. And the previous like, well, you know, all these side effects, we don't know. At least as of our current knowledge, something may pop up in the future. And I think that's a much more nuanced, realistic view, right? There have been side effects from COVID vaccines. Um, we know that, or I know that. I've seen one myself. And so it's not a certain type of vaccine per se, right? But it is a fact that people have reacted, but that's true of all vaccines. We just say the benefits outweigh the risk. We don't say it's no side effects. And I think the thing is, this teacher wouldn't say anything that nuanced because she's just reading from the book, basically. So again, what does it mean to be an educator, right? Shouldn't you know your craft before you teach it? She doesn't know a craft. She just has learned about these things in classes, doesn't have a lot of practical experience. Why is she allowed to teach it? Oh, is it because she's an excellent teacher, very enthusiastic, keeps the class entertained? No, I was falling asleep. Evening time, tired, warm room, cold outside. Sleepy time, right? So what does it mean to be an educator, to have a background in education? I would venture to say we have it all wrong, right? You have many people who are enthusiastic, who are teachers, blah, 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 right? And perhaps some of them are good, but the best teachers I've had in my school are the ones who have experience. Some of these people don't have experience in quote unquote the math field. Math teacher did other stuff in life, but he's got a lot of life experience and he's older and he knows how to teach because of that, Mr. Rudley. And I think that some of the best teachers are the ones who know stuff. They may literally learn about the topic or learn about life, but they teach from experience. Versus someone who reads, goes to classes and thinks, I know how to teach because of that. A background in education. Not quite the same as being a teacher. Not quite the same as making sure your students learn. I'm not really sure what it means. Except that you took some courses and have a certification. And that's where this whole certification thing falls apart. A background in education. A certificate in teaching doesn't mean you're a good educator and doesn't mean you could teach.